Right, we're going to have a look at uh, doing a, a table square. And so we get the numbers uh, 1 to 12 running across the top, and then 1 to 12 running uh, down the side. And notice that 1 is right in the corner there. Uh, now we're going to go through the 10 times table. And this is great. Oh, no, that's the 5 times table. Okay, I'll now go through the 5 times table, because that's really easy, because you go up in 5s each time. Now I'll do the 10 times table. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Oh, did I make a mistake? I made a mistake. I made a mistake. You've got to be careful of the numbers that you've already written in. Because if you notice, what I did there is I ended up doing 50 twice. And uh, that that's... Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, I got it that time. Oh, excellent. So, okay, so I've got the 10s. I'm going a bit too fast here. I'm going to have to hurry to catch up with myself. So I've done the 10s and I've done the 5s. So do the 2s. Now, 2s are very straightforward. And look, oh, look at the speed I'm going on that. And go down and across, of course. What's great now is you can start to see the gaps are starting to fill in. 11 times table, really nice one. 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, and so on. Be careful of the ones that are towards the end there. Nines now, and you can use your fingers, or you can see that that pattern, that the uh, tens decrease, uh, increases and the units decrease. That's quite a nice pattern to spot there. I've moved on to the fours. Very similar to the twos, and we're used to doubling and doubling up, so those go quite nicely. Gone in for the threes next. Bit controversial. Bit controversial to go for the threes at this stage. Uh, but could have gone for the uh, for the eights. But threes does lead nicely into the sixes. And there's a nice relationship between the fives and the sixes, where you're just adding on one number, like from 20 to 24, from 25 to 30, things like that. Uh, now I'm going into the eights. And notice this now leaves me with the sevens, with there we are, 49 seven sevens, and the 284s, and there you go. And I haven't even had to do anything with the 12s. No worry about the 12 times table. And so I start filling in a little bit of doodling. And uh, not getting that round, nice round the outside. So this is the one times table. Uh, don't put a times in the corner, because that's what can uh, mislead you when you end up doing the one times table twice. Oh, sorry, I've just realized there's one missing. 144, yes, the thing is, is you. that's the only 12 times table fact you need to know. The 12 12s are 144, and let's face it, I think we probably all know that, because it's such a nice one. What have I done there? Well, what I've done there is coloured in the diagonals, and uh, what's good about the diagonals, of course, is that they are the square numbers. You can't really see them all, 16 and 36 are in there somewhere. Uh, and now I'm reinforcing the grid because I don't want it to fall down. Now that would be bad. All the numbers would come off the bottom. Uh, so there we are. Nice bit of colouring. Uh, it looks a bit messy. That 45 is not very good, is it? At nine fives. That was a bit of a mess as well. Oh well, never mind. Uh, and the thing is, it doesn't take long. This is barely taking uh, three minutes, fifteen seconds to do. Okay, I'm going reasonably fast. So now pulling out that twelve times table. You know, tw knowing your 12 times table is, is a really powerful tool, really worth knowing. There it is. Oh, pick out that 72. Lovely. Okay. So let's have a look now. Square numbers. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, and 144. And now... Uh, once you've done that, then you can go down the columns or across the rows and start to see that those patterns. Look for 24. How often 24 turns up? Uh, other numbers as well. 48 has a lot of factors. 72 turns up surprisingly, uh, uh, surprisingly often, considering um, what a big number it is as well. I like 72. It's in the 8 times table as well as the 9 times table and, of course, the 12s and the 6s. There we are. We saw it. And nines there going in. You know, watch when it gets just over 100. You've got to keep an eye on that. Uh, as we can see now, I'm starting to bring it together, starting to get it nice and complete. This didn't take long. It doesn't take long. That's a Rubik's Cube. Don't know why it's there. Hmm. How peculiar. Okay, last bit of colouring in. Doesn't take long to complete. A little bit of practice, and you can have this sorted. And really, there's very few of the tables you need to learn. Most of them you already know. You know your ones, you know your twos, you know your fives, your tens, your your nines and your elevens. The rest of them, then really you can pick up from there. Okay, get out there.